which choice completes the text so that it conforms to the conventions of standard English. Sociologist Elton Okinawa sits on the review board tasked with adding new sites to the Hawaii Register of Historic Places, which includes Pelehani, Hawaii, and the Opeka's Road Bridge. Okinawa doesn't make such decisions blink. All historical designations must be approved by a group of nine other experts from the field of architecture, archaeology, history, and Hawaiian culture. So, option A says, single-handedly, comma, however, semicolon. This seems to be correct, because there are two parts of the sentence, there are two independent clauses, and the comma here separates the supplementary adverb from the main, first main clause, and the semicolon properly separates the two independent clauses. So A seems to be the correct answer. B. Single-handedly, semicolon, however, comma. This is incorrect, because this places the however in the second part of the sentence, where it wouldn't make sense, whereas it should be placed in the first part of the sentence to make more sense. So if this would be correct if the semicolon and comma were to switch places. So B is incorrect. C. Single-handedly, comma, however, comma. This is incorrect because this results in a comma splice, where a comma attempts to connect two independent clauses without a uh, conjunction. So C is incorrect. D. Single-handedly, however. This is incorrect because this simply results in a run-on sentence. So D is incorrect. And the correct answer is A.